Hello dear friends, how are you today? I hope you are well. Here we are going to talk about another question of cardiology. A 76 year old diabetic man was recently admitted after being found to be in atrial fibrillation. He has no other medical conditions and takes metformin regularly. His fibrillation was managed in the hospital and he was deemed safe for discharge. On discharge, what is the single most appropriate long-term medication for this patient? A. Aspirin, B. Warfarin, C. Clopidogrel, D. Propranolol, E. Simvastatin. Okay, we here we have a 76-year-old diabetic man uh, coming with atrial fibrillation. Okay, uh, atrial fibrillation is important for thinking about the anticoagulation therapy. In this question is asking about the single most appropriate long-term medication and our choice here would be warfarin for long term uh, to preventing the patient's um, uh, coagulation here we are going to explain it okay explanation this patient is at high risk of stroke with a CHA2 DS2 VAS score O3 2 for his age and one for his diabetes mellitus okay here we are going to explain it anticoagulation using warfarin is the most appropriate long-term management in these options to prevent stroke as we can see in this chart we have here cha2 ds2 as score here okay c is for congestive heart failure or left ventricular dysfunction. Left ventricular dysfunction means that the patient's uh, cardiac output is 40% or below 40%. Okay, H is for hypertension here, and A is for age uh, 75 or above, A2. And D is for diabetes mellitus, and S here is for stroke transient ischemic attack or thromboemboli. We have V here. V is for vascular disease, prior, like prior MI, PAD, or aortic plaques. And A, we have another A here. A, A2 here is for age of 75 years or above. And the second A here is age 65 or to 74 years. And S is here for sex category, example, female gender. The maximum score is 9. Among these scores, we have only for A2, two points if the patient's age is more or equal to 74 years, and S2 if the patient has a, a stroke, TIA, or thromboemboli history, the patient will receive uh, two points. For the rest of other choices, the patient must receive one point. Okay. The patient has been diagnosed with atrial fibrillation. The main goals in managing atrial fibrillation are weight, rhythm control, and anticoagulation. As his fibrillation was managed in the hospital, the next steps is to count his CHA2, DS2, VAS score to determine if he requires anticoagulation. This patient is at high risk of stroke with a score of 03, as we said, 2 for his age, uh, which is our 75 years, and 1 for his diabetes mellitus. Anticoagulation such as warfarin would be of benefit to reduce the risk of stroke for him. Note, aspirin is no longer used for stroke prevention. Okay, atrial fibrillation and anticoagulation and CHA2 ds 2 as score. NICE, uh, the National Institute of Health and Car Excellence, suggests using their uh, CHA2 ds 2 as score to determine the most appropriate anticoagulation strategy for atrial fibrillation. This score is used to assess a patient's stroke risk. Offer anticoagulation to all people with a score of 2 or above and consider offering it to men with a score of 1 or above. In practice, okay, this is not important and you can read it yourself. For exam, for the exam, and only for the exam, uh, because we have no enough time in the exam, we must uh, look at the patient's age. If the patient's age is below 65, 
with no any other comorbidities, the patient don't need warfarin. But if the patient has age is more than 65 years or equal to 65 years, or at least with one comorbidity, uh, the patients need warfarin. But this point is only for exam. Okay. Another alternative to warfarin, which has gained much popularity over the past decade, is uh, direct oral anticoagulants or DOAC, uh, such as apixaban, edoxaban, and rivaroxaban. If in their uh, exam choices we can see one of these drugs is a good choice for choosing it for the patients with atrial fibrillation for long term management of their anticoagulant uh, therapy. These medications are also uh, li uh, licensed for use for stroke prevention with non valvular atrial fibrillation and Mm, er, and non valvular atrial fibrillation is important and a score of 2 uh, or above and we must consider this uh, for a man of a score of 1 or above as we said there's some benefits of using drug compared to warfarin like um, reduces the risk of intracranial hemorrhage uh, non INR monitoring and uh, using warfarin, the patients need INR monitoring. We must uh, keep the I patient's INR between two to three. But in, in using dog, the patient does need to the INR monitoring and faster onset anticoagulation effect. Their uh, effect starts after two to four hours of using using the dog. And there are some disadvantages of using dog compared to warfarin also. Uh, include non-specific antidote if the patient is uh, um, overdosed with dark drugs there is no any uh, specific antidote and essential to be compliant for the patient must be compliant for with these drugs okay as we said if we have other choices in the exam like apixaban, doxaban or rivaroxaban we must think about these choices also uh, this was a short explanation about the patients coming with atrial fibrillation uh, and about the CHA2, DS2, VAS score. We explained about this in our other YouTube videos completely. You can watch for more information. You can watch them. Thank you for your attention.